to me this place is means so much the surroundings of my village me and my friends used to come here and just um, search for different things search for more really search for mysteries you know this is where during my childhood I felt I was alive I felt most alive outside the village you know the river is just over there mm. did fishing we went searching for all sorts of things but coming alive that's what I want to talk about when you grow up you come alive you know when you were little you feel life at some point you feel wow life is good life is full of mystery you know I can't wait to see more of life but then something happens something always happens and you become maybe cynical most people in this village 99% of the people or more in this village are just crushed in spirit just they're just walking corpses waiting to die few of the people that felt deeply that didn't bury that longing they didn't see any outlet you know when you grow up you grow up thinking I I'm someone special but then you look around you when you're 18 or 20 or and you realize I'm not special I don't have a special gift I might be a painter but I'm not a Picasso not realizing that Picasso probably thought the same thing you're not born to be a Picasso or Hemingway you're born to follow your own gifting to become unique just like they became unique but what happened with that longing that is needed to develop the gift that longing for more that hope hope for the transcendent it got buried or crushed depending on how you've been brought up depending on the um, economic or political and special and family yes on the family or over that climate over the atmosphere and now I'm here again and I've walked through so much of my inner darkness and yet there's still that unmet longing for more and I will not I will not leave it I will not no longer be burying it or leaving it behind what have you done with that longing for more longing for joy longing to be someone special how come when we were little we used to walk around here and just wow look at this look at that and without even talking about the beauty we just took it in at least I did but then something happened we became either practical <laughs> what a funny word the most practical thing you can ever do is to be to stay true to your heart that's practical everything else is just crime to your inner being even though it might appear to be practical what happened to that go back go back and remember your first moments of joy I don't come to visit these places just because I feel good here no 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 it's not about now it's about what I was before and what I still am that inner heart if you wish what does that heart feel when he looks around here oh wow where is that world you know so many people are stuck in the past they think that I'm doing this so wow you know when I was a child it was so nice it was idyllic absolute rubbish things are much better now in every way and I'm grown up and I'm more able to finally follow that heart and un I don't like follow your heart thing but to discover my heart and then train it and follow it no 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 it's not about the good old days it's about what was given to me in those days as a child how I can get more of it back yeah that longing that longing is still alive in you Go back, go back. Don't, don't, don't be afraid of the pain. You know, for years on end, I would come here or by the river or up on that hill and, and just cry and, and just cry for that buried, lost treasure in me. The boy was just weeping for his lost heart. Because when I was little, I grew up with that longing and I still have dreams of this place. But it's not about this place. It's beyond that place. It's what this place revealed in me. But then later it got lost. So I was weeping. I was, I was digging up the grave of the dead 
that boy and the boy came back to life and it's coming coming more and more so I became more creative more alive and this boy needs to be trained in, in manhood I don't want to be just you know so many people they, they actually keep that longing so many of the famous creative people but then they either become alcoholics or addicts or just very sad or, or, or some people just shoot themselves why because that longing of that child that child is still very young it's still vulnerable it has not been brought out of that place yes you can keep the longing yes you're going to develop it but there's a way to become a man as well there's a way to be tough as well and keep that longing that's a complete man innocent and and creative and uh, angelic like a child and yet strong as a warrior yeah, wow imagine that yes i'm imagining that and i believe every man has that in himself takes a lot of work but it's well worth it yeah go find that go find that start with a boy he will become a man